Okay, so now let's go ahead and add the respawn functionality to our enemy AI. For that, on the enemy script, right here, after the enemy is dead, we will play the animations, okay? And after the animations, what we will do is, for now, we don't have any die animations, so in the console, we will show a text uh, such as dead okay so that we know that yes the enemy is now dead and after that what we will do is we will make this function uh, enumerator so type enumerator and then right here type start routine and then do that now right here when the enemy is dead okay then what we want to do we want to wait for some time so we will say yet return new wait for seconds we want the enemy to be disabled for five seconds and after that we want to spawn the enemy so we don't have any animations for now so that's why we will do this spawn in the console so that we know that the enemy is spawned now okay and when the enemy is spawned we will give the enemy its health back so the present health will be equals to 120f and then we will give the enemy its speed so the enemy speed will be back to normal which is 3f and after that the shooting radius will be equals to 10f the vision radius will be back to 100f and after that the player in vision radius will be equals to true and the player in shooting radius will be false because if the enemy is spawned from some point away from the player then we don't want the shooting radius to be true okay and right here we will play some animations okay when the enemy is respawned and after that we want to spawn an enemy from a specific spawn point so right here we will add a spawn point okay but for that first of all let's create different spawn point right here okay for now let's just ignore this error we will fix that first of all we need to create some spawn point right here on the map so let's create a empty game object right here okay here it is and let's name this as spawn point that's it or oh, let's just name this as spawn points and then in here we will create a empty child by the name of one let's duplicate this two three four five six two three and then four and then five and then six okay we will have six different spawn points now let's move them accordingly so one spawn point will be right there the next spawn point will be right here now let's move these other ones to there this one point will be right here and then that one will be right there that's it so now we have different spawn points now on the script let's go ahead and add a reference to the spawn point so in the enemy things let's create a public transform by the name of spawn now if we scroll down right here what we will do we will say that we want to spawn the enemy on the spawn point but first of all we need a reference to our enemy character as well okay not the enemy character the enemy character transform because we don't have any reference to the enemy transform so right down below we will create another public transform by the name of enemy character okay and now right here we will say enemy character dot transform dot position will be equals to the spawn dot transform dot position okay 
dynamic character transcomposition will be equals to the spawn dot transform dot position and after this we will call the pursue player function so that the enemy can then again pursue the player that's it let's save the game and as you know we have this error which is the name shooting does not exist on line 120 okay right here this is basically not shooting this is shooting radius okay the error is gone let's click on our enemy now we need to assign the transform of the enemy and then the spawn point so from this point we want to spawn this enemy again so add that right there that's it everything is set up now let's play the game and you will notice now when the game start as you can see the enemy is following us coming towards us okay there it is now let's try to kill the enemy okay the enemy is now dead and after five seconds you will notice that the enemy will be respawned as you can see the enemy is respawned as you can see now let's try to kill him again okay he is dead and now he will be respawned again as you can see now he will follow us again there it is so the respawn on enemy ai is working perfectly fine now in the next video we will continue our work on this so catch you guys in the next one